In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, relating the area formulas for a rectangle uh, to a, the triangle area formula and the parallelogram area formula. And so, so some people actually use the word derive. We're actually making a formula for a triangle and parallelogram by using the area formula for a rectangle. So let's start with the parallelogram first. So here's my parallelogram. I didn't draw in the arrows, but this bottom side and this top side are supposed to be parallel. And this side here and this side here are parallel. Are parallel. So that's what we call it, a parallelogram. And what I'm going to do is, uh, see, I've got this dimension across the bottom here. I call it the base of the parallelogram. And the height is how high it is. So it's, it's, the, it's the straight distance, perpendicular distance between two of the parallel sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this parallelogram. I've cut it into this rectangle and the two triangles on the ends. And so I, I, all I did was I moved that triangle. Uh, I didn't change its size at all. So the parallelogram we had at the beginning here and this rectangle that we now have have to have the same area. In fact, I could take this and just move it over here and see that base dimension is the same length. So our area formula for a rectangle, we often call the dimensions length and width, so L times W. So this would be my length, this would be my uh, width. Um, for a parallelogram, we often use base and height instead of length and width. So instead of calling them L and W, we call them B and H. And of course, uh, the, the formula is often abbreviated like this. When you write BH, B, it means the base times the height. So the area formula for a parallelogram is actually, and here's my parallelogram back again, here uh, is the same as the area formula for a rectangle. You're really just multiplying the length and the width or the base and the height dimensions. So it really is the same formula. Put that back there. So base times height, or if you want to call them length and width for a parallelogram, that still gives you the same area. Uh, so let's talk about a triangle next. So uh, here's my triangle. I have the uh, base dimension across the bottom, the height dimension uh, up and down here. And maybe that was off slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. So it's exactly upside down. I rotate it full 180 degrees. And I'm going to replace that triangle right there. So um, no matter what what your triangle looks like, you can make another copy of it and put them together. And we've now got a parallelogram. So the um, the uh, uh, of course what we did up here, the area for a parallelogram is base times height. So this base times this height. Now the triangle is just half of that. So that's why the area formula for just the triangle, just this one triangle here, or this one here, would be base times height divided by two, because it's each of the triangles is really half of a parallelogram. So uh, again, it's a very similar formula, but the triangle is just half of the parallelogram. So it's the base times height divided by two, or you could call this length times width, I suppose, but for a triangle, it's normally base and height. So base times height divided by two is the area formula for a triangle. And that's the end of the tutorial.